Most people who live and work near Washington D.C. would have trouble imagining dinosaurs walking around the area, but fossil hunter Ray Stanford can. He believes dinosaurs were in the area as recently as a hundred million years ago. His proof is dinosaur footprints. He found them in fossils that he collected from around the nation's capital. Christopher Cruz tells us about Mr. Stanford's explorations and finds. Hey, wait, we, we got one.、Here. Ray Stanford is walking along a small stream in College Park, Maryland. Near Washington D.C. This is from a, a flesh-eating dinosaur. This is from a theropod dinosaur. You can see the where the toenails were. He says he knows these are dinosaur fossils, based on his knowledge and experience. He began hunting for fossil footprints in 1993. Really, my children did. They took an interest in dinosaurs, and we got a book about dinosaur tracks. And、uh, once we looked at it, we were in a stream bed. We begin to discover dinosaur tracks. At first, I couldn't believe it. Since then, Ray Stanford has collected more than a thousand footprints from many different kinds of dinosaurs. He says he has made part of his home into a place he calls the Stanford Museum. He has given some of the fossils he found to the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History in Washington. They are shown in the Dinosaurs in Our Backyard exhibit. Matthew Carano is the museum's curator. Most importantly, he's found footprints of dinosaurs that we haven't found the bones of yet. So, because he's found those footprints, we know these dinosaurs lived here, and we didn't have that information before、uh, Ray discovered them. David Weisample studies prehistoric life as a paleontologist at Johns Hopkins University in Maryland. He was an advisor on the 1993 film Jurassic Park, about modern-day dinosaurs. He says Ray Stanford has helped professionals like him. He's given us a, lot, a more full picture of the dinosaurs of the East Coast. He seems to have this gift to be able to find these things and recognize their significance. Ray Stanford calls himself an amateur paleontologist. But he has co-written scientific papers with Professor Weisample and other scientists. Mr. Stanford says finding dinosaur fossils is a great pleasure. He loves the sense of discovery. He says he will keep searching for dinosaur fossils until there is nothing left to find.